In the last clip, we learned about location-based augmented reality and how one or more geographic coordinates be used as operators in a content display by augmented reality. We talked about the challenges in this way and we learned how to overcome them. But in this clip, we are going to learn a new way to implement location-based augmented reality. In this new method, the device does not need to connect to any GPS satellites or even the internet. So, all calculations will be offline. In all available methods for displaying content with augmented reality, the user has to use a marker as a reference to the object's location relative to the camera of his device. For example, the use of an image, object, geographical coordinates taken from a GPS satellite or a part of the ground detected by a camera or ATC are among the signs that can be used as the special reference of the object. We need to know that we are somehow dependent on these items and without them we will not be able to display our content. For example, in GPS-based augmented reality, in places where GPS cannot calculate the geographical location, the performance of our application will be disrupted. To solve this problem and increase the accuracy of object placement in augmented reality, we must remove the location process from dependence on the environment. We need to take special calculations out of augmented reality and pre-select the location of objects in the environment. In this way, we can place objects in any place we want with the utmost accuracy and no calculations will be the application's responsibility. We will use the device camera only to display the actual environment in our application and has no other use. The implementation of this method is such that we have to imagine designing a regular game and ignoring augmented reality for now. Suppose we are going to create an adventure game in a desert. In the first step, we determine the starting point of our game and decide where the user should start their adventure. According to the same starting point, we place our game objects in the environment. Objects can also be interactive and we can react to them effectively. Objects can be movable and we can define any behavior for them. The only important point is that the display of the objects should depend on our distance from them, which means that only objects close to us are visible and objects far from us are not visible. Well, our game is ready. Now let's remove the desert from our scene. So we have only the starting point of the game, characters and objects in the scene. The last step is replace the regular game camera with the an augmented reality camera. This method can be used for projects where the user intends to move in a closed space and it is not possible to use GPS. Or the low accuracy of GPS can disrupt the process of our application. In this method, you can use AutoCAD maps of a place, a 3D model of the area, a map or satellite image, and in the most accurate case, in the visual sampling to determine the location of objects. As a result, it can be pointed out that this method's main application is to the determine the location of objects in augmented reality accurately. This method can be used in various projects including routing for intelligent robots.